In the wide open skies of North Bend, the gas price continues to inch closer to the top of Mount Sai. $88 for 14 gallons. Jake Bosley stopped here on his way back to his Missoula, Montana based small business and says his meat shipping company is struggling with the pump price. If your deliveries aren't a certain size, um, it, it, it makes it much harder to turn a profit. The rural and suburban impacts of rising costs will likely now play into this election cycle in places like North Bend, a swing congressional district. Make sure that there's transparency. That is a bright light to make sure that no one's taking advantage during this tight supply. Washington Senator Maria Cantwell suggested on the Senate floor late last month there is market manipulation and is pitching a bill for more federal oversight of the oil industry. Her Senate colleague, Washington Senator Patty Murray, is also getting challenged on the issue by Republican Tiffany Smiley. From the gas pump to the grocery store, Washington families are paying more every single day. But Spokane Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers, the Republican leader of the House Energy and Commerce Committee, has told King 5 she's not sold on a rebate either. I'm not convinced that uh, the rebate is going to be the most effective way to help people. Uh, it would just contribute to inflation. I don't necessarily know what the solution is. Bosley says it's a question he continues to ponder on the open road. We need alternative sources of energy, um, you know, electric, wind, solar, those sort of things. But infrastructure wise, we're not at a point where we can actually go all in on that. That Cantwell bill would double fines for any sort of price gouging and according to the senator would add transparency, but it is unclear if there's su broad support in both chambers for the bill. That's the story for now live in North Bend. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.